Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and today we're going to be using the Kindle Fire Utility, and uh, I've already opened up the folder where the utilities run, and I've already installed it in a previous episode, so this time all we need to do is just click on the Run Bat file. An interesting quick little thing if you're not real familiar with Windows, right click on the Run Bat file and drag it over to your desktop and let go. Windows then will give you an option and we want to create a shortcut here. Notice that the, the move here is highlighted. That's what would happen if you used a left key. You don't want to do that. You don't want to move that batch file. But you might want to put a, a shortcut over here if you're going to use this very frequently. So well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to move the shortcut over here. And uh, you can even close this window here. It doesn't matter. Uh, you could rename this, right click, and go down to rename. And we'll rename the file to KFU easy enough and uh, that's what it says now okay so uh, now if we want to ex execute the KFU utility we can just click on that icon and uh, it says you want to run it uh, over here and I say yes uh, and it opens up the the KFU utility there we go okay and uh, it does say that my Kindle Fire is offline which is uh, pretty much true because I don't have it connected to anything here I'll give you a wide view here so you can see uh, my Kindle Fire. And uh, so I'm going to turn it on. Now it has been uh, has been rooted and, and you know, I have some uh, unofficial software on here, you know, a custom ROM. And I'm going to revert this. By the way, you might want to make a backup if you do this kind of stuff. I already backed it up in uh, the uh, Team Win Recovery Project uh, uh, Recovery and uh, made a backup. So now what I'm going to do is revert this to stock and start over with some stuff. And uh, that'll allow me to do uh, videos from real stock like most users probably would. Okay, so what we're going to do is just hook up the uh, USB port, click it on, Windows recognizes it. I'll move in here a little bit closer. Okay, And Windows recognizes it. Now what I want to do is do a zero uh, from the keyboard just to uh, let the Kindle Fire Utility recheck the device and uh, it finds it. It is now online, notice. Uh, it says online down here. And so what we want to do is one of the extras. So that is a 6. So I press 6 on the keyboard and press enter. And it says that we can obtain the latest stock update zip with a 7. So we press 7, enter, and it goes out and actually downloads the file for us. Okay, so it's downloading the file, which is pretty cool, which, you know, you don't have to find the locations of these things to find the... Uh, once you get this, this uh, Kindle Fire utility set up, it works pretty clean. By the way, while it's working there, I'll show you that the Kindle Fire is... Uh, shows that it's USB connected and that's all that we're seeing on it. So this may take just a little while to get the file. I suspect it's going to be uh, through here pretty soon. It should be about 100, meg 100 megs I would think most of uh, these updates are. Some of them are a little bit more than that. I don't know. I haven't noticed about this one yet. But we're at 50 so far, so we might have another 30 seconds or so. Oh, wait a minute. It says ETA is two minutes. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll tell you that uh, on our website, we have uh, a lot of, of uh, guides and uh, and step-by-step -step guides to help you with all kinds of technology issues. Uh, that's what we try to do. We try to be... Uh, an interpretive site where we take a lot of the information from places like uh, XDA developers. Great people, they do some fantastic work there. Uh, but unfortunately they're very technical and if you're not very technical it may be very difficult to read. Also in XDA and a lot of other forums you have to read a hundred pages of, of 50 posts each and it may be across several different threads of, of topics in the forums 
before you can get a sense for what it's all about and know for sure that you're asking the right questions and they haven't been asked before because if you don't, uh, if you ask some questions that uh, some of these more familiar users think you should have already known, they might fuss at you a little bit. So what we do is try to make it, uh, absorb all that and put it in real simple terms and uh, then write up a step-by-step -step guide that you only have to look at one page. Okay, we have five seconds left, and it uh, didn't take two minutes after all that, I guess. But uh, whatever it takes, uh, we're just about through. There we go. Okay, so we're uh, doing something. <laughs> Extracting the file, actually. So I, I haven't done this before. Uh, this is all done live. So... Uh, Okay, it's, uh, it is now, I guess it redid the file. We pressed enter. And now, uh, let's see. Can we... Well, I thought it would go ahead and install update zip. I'm not sure if it did or didn't. Uh, let's go back and uh, do a zero. Everything's still the same. Let's go back to six again. Okay, well, I'm not sure if it moved it over to the Kindle so that when we reboot that it will then uh, start us back over or if we need to do that manually. I'm not sure. Let's try 7 again and see what happens. Okay, update zip has been found, so that's all it wanted was to have the file there. So hopefully it moved it to the... Uh, the Kindle Fire. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, um, we just went off. So we're going to disconnect. Uh, just hit the disconnect button. And we're going to remove it. Uh, wide out here. Okay, we're going to remove the cable. And uh, then we're going to reboot. And uh, let's shut down. Now, if you want to go back to stock, hopefully this will have done it. Uh, okay, it's turned off now. So what we want to do is turn the power back on and hit the power button to get the boot menu. Okay, and you see down at the bottom it says uh, it's going into recovery. You can hit the power button one time and, and it'll go into recovery and then reboot. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It should open up into Team Win. Here we go. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can uh, install Update Zip. There it is. You see it? Okay, so let's go ahead and install the Update Zip and see what happens. We clicked on that and then we moved the slide her over to do it and see what happens. Flashing one of one. By the way, this is a pretty cool utility too, the Team Win project. Uh, it has uh, the batteries, uh, battery percent and the uh, time up at the top. And if you look real closely, there is a prog progress bar. It's blue. It's kind of hard to see the distinction, but uh, it's right about there. Whoops, it just slipped over a bunch. Okay, so it's about to finish here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so success. Uh, let's go ahead and wipe the Dalvik cache. Okay, and go back and reboot the system and see where we are. <laughs> okay. We may have us a Kindle Fire. It does look like it is wiped off. The original 
uh, stop because we didn't get the uh, fire, fire, fire. Kindle fire. You may be getting a reflection there of some of the stuff in my uh, my room. I'm sorry about that. Kindle Fire does reflect. The screen is reflective a bit. I have a screen protector and matte protector on top. It's supposed to take some of the glare off, but it doesn't do a real great job. Well, we might have a boot loop. Okay, I'll give it a couple more minutes and then assume a boot loop, which will give us an opportunity to figure out how to, <laughs> to clear a boot loop on. Got a flash. There we go. Okay, we're back to where we were. Okay. Mm hmm. Not sure what happened, but at least we didn't lose it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem to be. still trying to figure out where it is I guess okay well I'm not sure what we did but we did it um, it's still there and um, we'll have to figure out another way to get back to stock um, not sure what we did wrong or what we did right but uh, in any case that's how you do it <laughs> uh, this has the go launcher. Okay, there we go. And um, Ray Waldo, RayWaldo.com. See you next time.